You did an interview with Claudia Trejo, kind of then and now, uh, where you were asked, like, what motivates you, like, kind of what do you want to fight? And before you said, you know, the guys that the people say, oh, you know, he doesn't want to fight him, he doesn't, you know, obviously that person is David Benavidez. Is that different now because maybe you've reached a different level in your career because you have fought, you know, the tough that you have been doing that? Or is that still the same desire for fights in the future? No, you know, I always fight everybody and, and fight. Uh, I have legendary fights, you know, Poro, Polovkin, but they bring me something to the table. So they bring me legacy to the table. So, uh, I mean, I'm, I'm talking about that, you know, and I know you guys always want to put, if I beat Benavides, you want to put other fighters there. And like I say, if the money is right in that, in that special fight, I mean, because, you know, he don't bring me legacy, he don't bring me anything. So if the money is right, I mean. Canelo, so what, fights, what fights do you think do bring you legacy outside of Belanga? What other fights bring you le legacy? I, I don't know. Right now, there are not much people left. I fought everybody already. So, so you know, I mean, Canelo, is there one guy that comes to mind? Is there one person that comes to mind? No. The ball, that's maybe? That's just to get the rematch? The ball, maybe? The ball. Bibol is, is one of the guys uh, I have my, my rematch, you know, to, to, like I say, if he wins the 175 uh, undisputed. Do you think he does? I, I think so, he has the ability to do it, you know, but the beer is a really strong fighter. So, it's gonna be hard, but he can do it. Canelo, if you say there's nobody like of the big names left to fight, good to see you, by the way. Uh, good to see you. What is your motivation? Is it money? Is it just you enjoy it? Is it something else? I enjoy it. I enjoy it. I like my routine, being in training camp. I enjoy all of this. Uh, yeah, put more money in my in my account, obviously, too. <laughs> sure. So, but, yeah, I, 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 I already did everything. Do you see the end coming? No. How? I, I go fight by fight, and I feel in my bed right now. I Like I say, this Canelo beats the Canelo 25, 26, 27. So even Canelo Alvarez at your age, with all the fights, over 60 fights, physically speaking and mentally, you still feel like as fresh as you did back in the day? Yeah, I feel great. What do you, what do you, attri what do you attribute that to? I don't know. My mental, my, my, my training camp, I take care of, my, my, of myself, of my body, and, and I have more experience and doing better every, every single time. Canelo, so I watched the movie The Long Game. Did you watch the movie and say, I need to be part of it, or how did you get involved? Yeah, they sent it to me first. Uh, the, 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 how you say the script? Uh -huh. Yeah, the script? And I, I love golf, and I love uh, helping my people, so uh, I, I just say yes. I, I want to be part of, of that movie. So I was really nervous. No, no sé, pregúntale a él, güey. Okay. Y finalmente, ¿qué, ¿qué parte de la canción de Martes 3 es tu favorita? Toda, toda la verdad que es toda mi favorita. Una pregunta. Una canción muy bonita, me dice muchas cosas y realmente me gusta mucho. Gracias, aficionados. Eh, has dicho que cada quien tiene su espacio, UFC y boxeo, pero este sábado podrías, además de seguir reinando en las 168 libras, reinar en los deportes de combate. No, la verdad es que como lo he dicho, yo no estoy queriendo competir con, con eso. Competimos de alguna razón, por algún motivo, pero yo me siento muy orgulloso.